Matt, also known as The Humble Bear, and I'm here today to show you how to make my favorite hot drink, cacao. A beautiful, heartwarming, heart-opening uh, drink that I have every morning. And so people have been asking me, how do you make cacao so nice? So I thought I'd come on and share with you today how to make it. So first of all, what do you need? To start with, obviously, you need your cacao. I'm using full power cacao today. Uh, it's my favorite of the cacaos that I've tried, but there's plenty out there. But this, if you're interested in this, please let me know. I can put you in contact with how to get more of this. We also need some coconut sugar. This is organic coconut sugar. Um, it's, a nice, it's a nice low GI natural sugar. Uh, none of that bleached white stuff. Um, we've got some Himalayan salt as well to give it a nice little salty flavor. And also some agave, which is a plant sweetener made from cactuses. Um, just a little bit of agave, get the agave there. And then enough milk to make, enough plant milk to make uh, the number of drinks you want. So here I've got two cups ready to go. So I know exactly how much milk I need and we are good. So right, how do we make it? So to start with, you need to get your cacao, about a tablespoon, about 20 grams of cacao, which is about a tablespoon of cacao. So we put that in the pan, just like that. And you want a little splash of, oat, uh, of milk. I have oat milk today. Try not to spill it everywhere. We're putting it on a nice heat just to warm it up. And we're gonna whisk it, you need yourself a whisk. Uh, just to whisk it into a paste. It takes a little time just to melt that into the cacao. This, this process itself stops it from going bitty and allows the, uh, allows the cacao to melt properly into the milk so that we get a nice smooth um, process. We get a nice smooth drink at the end of it. Okay, cool. So once that is done, that's, that's the, the roux done. Uh, we're now gonna add the rest of our plant milk and our flavorings to give it that perfect salted caramel flavor. So first of all, put the rest of your oat milk or your plant milk in like this. So that'll be nice, but that'll really mix really easily into, into a nice smooth drink quite quickly, which is good. Then we're gonna add our agave. So just whack that agave in there. Nice bit of sweetener in there. And then we're gonna add some coconut sugar. Gives it a nice caramelly kind of flavor. So we mix the, the coconut sugar in just like that. Stir that in. Beautiful. And then we just want a pinch of salt just to give it so a pinch of salt, I'll do a pinch of salt per cup. So just a pinch of salt like this into the cacao. And there you go. That, is, that will give you the perfect flavor cacao. So we just bring that up to temperature. Make sure you don't boil it. Just bring it up to a nice temperature, a nice warm temperature. Okay, so that is literally as it is, that is ready to pour out or into your beautiful cups. So make sure you selected some cups, make sure your handle of your pan is not too hot to hold. And then pour it out, this beautiful, beautiful, heart-opening, healing medicine. Perfectly made. And now you can add any flavorings, any sweeteners you want. As I said before, I've used agave um, and some coconut sugar, but you can add all kinds of things. You can add some orange rind, give it that orangey flavor, put it in the bottom of the, the, bottom of the cup and it will infuse into the cacao, or you can use lemon, lemon rind, chili, turmeric, whatever you, have a play with it, whatever you like, add that into your drink. And it, it is the most epic, uh, heart opening, warming uh, drink in the morning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this really helped you make your cacao as, as well as I love to make my cacao. Um, if anyone has any questions, anyone needs any help with anything, please get in contact. I would love to help you out. I'd love to hear from you um, and have a beautiful day.